I haven't done one of these in a while because my mornings have been spoken for. I mean, even now is like pff, two in the afternoon and change. But I wanted to do one anyway because I wanted to do like a quick pan to URLs. URLs are freaking awesome. And I got thinking about this because earlier today somebody's like, you know, remember there like once upon a time there were functioning online systems and they just worked and now everything's been replaced with like apps that suck. And I was like, well, yeah, because, you know, that was, I agree, but that, that was totally on purpose. And I think the big difference is that apps just don't have URLs. I mean, a lot of time they kind of have them sort of stuck on top and they're definitely operating under the hood. But they're not URLs that you can usually see or access except uh, within a very particular, you know, sort of context. And the what makes the web super useful is the fact that you can just go anywhere. And the, the way that you can just go anywhere is the URL. Like... Um, you know, you've got scheme, uh, authority, path, query, fragment. I almost ran out of page. And just with this very simple framework or very simple, I mean, it is a framework, yeah. This sort of very simple mechanism, you can represent any kind of information resource, any kind of protocol that goes there. Um, the authority stuff, I mean, you can talk about DNS is not a perfect thing, but it's good enough for now. There's other stuff that uses like DIDs and cryptographic stuff. I mean, there's cryptographic URIs, but like, this has got to be, and I mean, he even agrees, I mean, he's even said this on record, that uh, uh, Tim Berners-Lee's uh, most powerful invention is the humble URL. And it's like, well, why is that? Because it can go anywhere. It can, you know, it can be printed out. It can be put on a billboard. It can be, you know, encoded in text. It can be made into an image. It can be, uh, you know, there's all sorts of, and then of course it can be parsed and, and and whatnot. Actually, one of the things that I have thought was kind of funny is sort of like, well, why is it that we use, uh, you know, QR codes uh, for just like simple URLs that aren't like a freaking mouthful? And I mean, then there's the whole issue of security of, you know, fake QR codes going to phishing sites and stuff like that, but we'll leave that aside. When you could just have the URL and like, you know, OCR is good enough these days that you can just point a camera at it and go to the URL uh, rather than wrapping it in a QR code. So that's a funny thing that I don't know if anybody has fixed that or done anything about that yet, but maybe they should. But it's the, I'll put it back to this. It's the, the authority, I think, that really makes it, in the case of HTTP, or at least, you know, the fact that, you know, a link can go from one place to another place, another authority, another business, another country, another whatever, another entity, another uh, uh, person. And it's not just the, the one entity that you're interacting with. The URL kind of makes it possible to go anywhere. And then, of course, hypertext makes it possible to actually do something with those URLs. And I just wanted to say that, you know, I mean, I work a lot with URLs. I make it so that all of my stuff is directly addressable. And it makes such a huge difference uh, in the design and in the value of the outcome to just be able to point directly at you know something and and off you go anyway I'm gonna finish my coffee